That's the young woman's cabriolet. Apparently, they absolutely had to take it to Egypt. At daddy's expense, of course. Cabriolet? Of course. Hmm. The left three lockers are locked. The door to this locker is ajar. Empty. <clears throat> Can't see anything. Again. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Aha. Thank you. out the game's up I I'm opening the trunk <clears throat> he hello I feel life I'm sure someone was in the trunk but where are they now Shards are. Phew. I startled too easily. Mm. Yes. Exactly, gonna do. Uh -huh. oh. What? Oh. 
It would be best if no one found out about this. There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. Hair I really can't afford to lose. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. A detention cell for crew members? Or maybe for rowdy passengers? The cargo hold seems to be used as a changing room for the crew as well. Or at least the part of the crew that doesn't do their work in white suits. Okay. Uh, what now? Oh, 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 chairs. A chair is the last thing I need right now. I was sitting long enough over there in the corner. I can make out a corridor. But no details. The glass is too dirty, and there's no light in there. It's no use. The door seems to be locked from the other side. Even with a bit of leverage, it won't budge. It's already dark outside. How long have I been unconscious? Odd camera angle. Bit superfluous. Ah. Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. I should be careful. The gunman may still be nearby. <laughs> what are you up to, Zelna? I wanted to determine whether the gun had been fired recently, Inspector. I mean, what are you doing on the ship? I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look. Careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. I was inspecting the trunk. I found it in the cargo hold, and it was clear that someone had hidden inside it to board the ship. Some people are willing to go to great lengths to be a part of this journey. Indeed. 
Whoever it was, they struck me on the head from behind with the pipe while I was looking for clues. Oh, and they shot at me as well. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along. Orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. I should throw you overboard. I would have dreamed up something less painful. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. See? And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. Come with me. Inspector Legrand and Constable Zellner. So you have decided to join us on our journey after all. So it would seem. We are searching for Dr. Gebhardt. I'm just fine, Captain Conti. <laughs> the Conti. I'm in control. I can manage. Tell James he absolutely must wake me at a quarter to ten. Certainly, madam. Absolutely. I shall see that he does. And now, I shall return to my chambers. You'll be in the bar tonight at ten, Inspector. If that's what you wish. It will be spectacular. I promise. <laughs> the fresh sea air and perhaps a glass of champagne to many. But I'm glad that you decided to join us on our journey to Cairo. Not quite voluntarily. So he says. I was jumped from behind. But no, that that is Dr. Gephardt should have a look at him, Captain De Conti. Of course. Please, have a seat in the saloon, Constable Zelna. I'll summon the doctor. Ah, doctor, there you are. Our brave Constable Zelna was attacked. Struck on the head. Oh. Sit down, please. Now, please, tell me exactly what happened. <laughs> I think you've got a stowaway on board. I was jumped. Intolerable. I'll have the crew search every nook and cranny of the ship. And of course, Mr. Zelna, you are cordially invited to travel as our special guest. Good to know that at least one man doesn't want to throw me overboard. Is it bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. I spoke with Dr. Gebhardt. He suffered a violent blow to the back of the head. I cannot really say how bad it is. But I can. It really hurts. Why didn't anyone come looking for me? Didn't anyone notice that I didn't come back from the cargo hold? We did search for you, but we couldn't find you. Who was supposed to search the cargo hold? Constable Oliver. I'll have a talk with him about that later. I should hope so. How many fingers do you see? Um, actually, the thumb is not a finger, so... Three fingers. You know, okay. Doctor should know. Where are we? And, and what time is it? I must have been out for ages. It's just after 8 p.m. You just missed dinner. But we'll all meet here in the saloon at 10 o'clock to have a drink together. Greeting the, the passengers has one personally is fingers a tradition two. I will not break, even on this unusual journey. You're all right now, Constable. It's the bleeding bad. has stopped, and the wound looks good. You may have I a don't. mild concussion. You just need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, your only worries will be a headache <laughs> and an impressive bump. Thanks. That's a good enough reason to celebrate. Enough about crooks and thieves. From now on, you can start to enjoy your free cruise. <laughs>
Inspector! What? A dark shadow. Upper deck, just now. Go, let's have a look. <laughs> I'll join you. Me too. That. No, you stay here. Check Do you it. want to make this an argument? Robert, go to the Baroness and don't let her out of your sight. Zellner, you're coming to the port side. Doctor, you go to starboard. I'll start at the forecastle and work my way back to the two of you. Understood? But... Baroness von Trebitz! Hello? Baroness von Trebitz? Open the door! Dr. Gebhard insisted on coming along, but now he doesn't seem to be sure if that was a good idea. Let's talk to him for a while. Are you okay, Doctor? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't I be? It's just that... Well, I would prefer to come with you. You heard the inspector. The Baroness was three sheets to the wind. It may be a while before she comes to the door. Now he's just banging All right, on the Doc. Door. I'm off. Oh no, I'm not going on a manhunt all by myself. Are you okay? Maybe you had better take a rest in case the blow was more severe. I'm okay. Zelda, up here! Come on. I think it came from up there. <laughs> sure, you just wanted to get a breath of fresh air. Zellner, look who we have here. Well, if that's not our shadow. And our stowaway. Spend any time hiding in a trunk recently? Uh, me do, do nothing. He claims to be part of the crew. Just wanted to get some fresh air. Of course. The Baroness won't open the door, sir. Understood. Take him to the detention cell, Robert. I know nothing. You were right. There was a stowaway. Yes, but he can't be the Raven. He's too young. Right, but that doesn't mean that the Raven isn't lurking here as well. What was that? A shot. It came from one of the cabins. Oh no! Baroness von Trebitz? Baroness! Open the door! Well, put some effort into it. Step aside, please. We have a murder on our hands, gentlemen. Hurry, Zellner. The murderer still has to be nearby. There is practically no one on deck. Anyone who's outside is a suspect. This time, we'll get him. <laughs> Zellner, are you okay? Yes. Come on. We have to. Zellner. Zellner. Mm. 
<laughs> what was that? Ah, you awake? Sleep well, did you? I like to sleep late when I take a cruise. While everyone else is hard at work. Mm. I didn't pass out last night because of the blow to my head, did I? Seems unlikely. Inspector Legrand thinks you were drugged. But how? The champagne. Who gave you the glass of champagne? Hmm. Captain? Captain De Conti. Interesting. Have you arrested anyone yet? You mean besides the Arab? He could hardly have committed the murder. You must have been with him when it happened. We heard the shot on the forecastle. I locked our friend in the detention cell in the cargo hold and then went up to assist Legrand. You were already sleeping the sleep of the just. Any other suspects? No. Seconds after the alarm went off, the decks were swarming with frightened passengers. Hmm, yes. A clever way to stay incognito during the commotion. Hmm, but we still have our primary suspect, the Raven. You really think he's returned? Well, I think that no one knows as much about the Raven as Legrand. But still, it all seems so incredible. About the champagne, shouldn't it be possible to find traces of the tranquilizer in the glass? That is exactly what Legrand is trying to do. Without a laboratory? No, oh, he's got a lab. His cabin is packed with all the latest forensic stuff. It's quite impressive what the inspector can do. A competent man, no doubt. And surprisingly well prepared. And diligent. He's been at it all night with his brushes and tinctures and glasses and everything. Working like a man possessed. I wouldn't want to be the Raven now. What's the state of play? How was the Baroness killed? Uh, the Baroness was shot in the chest at close range. We'll know more once the doc finishes examining the body in the medical center. And no one saw anything suspicious? <laughs> no one saw a shadowy raven leaving the Baroness's cabin, if that's what you mean. A lot of people heard the gunshot. Inspector Legrand wants to question the passengers again this morning, once they've all calmed down, and he's had a chance to examine the evidence. I suppose that you and Legrand inspected the crime scene and the surroundings. Of course. And we already hit the jackpot. The murder weapon. Really? Where did you find it? On the gangway. The gangway for boarding the ship folds up and hooks onto the hull when it's not being used. The murderer probably wanted to throw the gun into the sea. He casually dropped it overboard. But it landed on the gangway. Bad luck. But Legrand and I were on the side deck right after the shot. There was no one there. Hmm. Maybe the murderer threw the gun away later. We recovered it in the early hours. Hmm. I think I'll look for Inspector Legrand now. Hmm. Do what you think's best. You won't get rid of me. I'm here to stay, Constable Oliver. Be that as it may, Inspector Legrand ordered me to guard the cargo hold with our special guest. That's fine by me. Inspector Legrand may be able to get by without sleep for days on end, but not me. It's not easy playing with the big boys, Constable Zelna. No, it certainly isn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cabin was sealed. I'm pretty sure the seal doesn't have any legal relevance here on the open sea, but I'm still dependent on Legrand letting me join his team. I better not blow it by breaking his seal without permission. Fine.
grab a drink.